And so the deal is, is Paul's writing to a group of people who even as weak as our culture is, even as amoral and immoral as our culture is now, that culture was even further gone. Because these people that we're going to hear from and, and, and hear the message that Paul sent to these people, they were living in a culture where, where sexuality outside of marriage was a part of a religious service. Can you imagine that? Where it was okay to have sex with somebody who wasn't your, your partner and, your, and your, your mate, and, um, and where it was okay to do X, Y, and Z things. And so Paul writes in the beginning of chapter 5 to these people, and he says things like this, be honest, right? Don't lie, have financial integrity with money and in your, and in your workplace, be honest. And he talks about no, no sexual activity outside of, of, of the marriage. And he talks about things like being kind. Be kind to people. That will transform relationships, and that's what God wants. And so he said all these things to these people, and yet these people are living in a culture much like us that is very immoral, very amoral, and the Ephesians would say back to Paul, Paul, how can you say this? Because here's the deal. I can go with you. I, I can agree with you. I can shake my head. Yes, yes, I need to be honest. That's a good thing. Yes, Paul, yes. I need to not have relationships outside of my marriage. Yes, Paul, I'm shaking my head. I need to be kind in relationships. But Paul, how can I do this in a culture where my culture is all about bribes? How can I do this in a culture where sexuality is running rampant? Paul, how can I do these things that you're wanting me to do in the first verses of chapter 5 when my culture is crazy, not like what you're talking about you want us and need us to do? 